Okay, so now with our drone connected to our mission planner software via telemetry, we're going to run some initial configurations for our drone. And we can do that very easily by going up here to the initial setup button in mission planner. We'll click that. And then let's look for um, let's look for the wizard. We'll click on the wizard and that'll launch a little window here. And we have, let's see, like 16 steps we have to take. And it's just things like, what's our frame type? Um, we have to calibrate some sensors, our magnetometer and our accelerometer, stuff like that. So let's start here. Let's select our copter frame. We're using an X. We'll hit next. And then we'll hit this. So the drone's accelerometer has to have its boundaries calibrated. And we do that by placing the drone in different orientations. And we'll do that here with this accelerometer calibration. So we'll hit start now. And it says here on the bottom, please place vehicle level. So we want the drone to look like this. So let's see, my drone is basically level. So I'll hit um, continue, continue button. Then I'll say place vehicle on the left side. So my drone has, it's pointing this way. So this is the front. So this would be the left side. So I'm gonna put the left side down. And then when I think it is level, I'm gonna hit the continue button. All right, so that's about level here. Now it's saying place vehicle on the right side. This doesn't have to be perfect. Now it says place vehicle nose down, so the front of the drone needs to be pointing down. Now it's saying nose up, so the front of the vehicle has to be pointing up. Now this is kind of the trickiest one because you have your uh, GPS on the back side of the drone, but it wants you to flip the drone upside down and hold it level. So this doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as you get it close enough, that'll be good. I'll hold it kind of like this. It looks pretty level to me, so I'm going to hit continue now. Now we're done. Now we're done with the accelerometer calibration. So now we'll go to the next step of the setup wizard. And we're doing a compass calibration. So what we do here is we'll, do a, we'll hit the live calibration button. And we'll just kind of take our drone and just put it in all sorts of weird uh, configurations and geometries in the air. And once the calibration gets enough data points, then your compass has been calibrated and you can go to the next step. So let's do live calibration now. All right, so we'll pick this up and you'll see the progress of the calibration on the map below. All right. There you go. You'll see in the, and this is a little bit difficult when it's connected via wires. You just want to move that drone all over the place so you can get those data points. I can't do this in this, in this um, vision of my webcam because I don't have enough slack on the power line, but I just have the drone in my hand and I'm moving it all around, kind of like this, and I'll get it upside down. Okay, then when it's done, it'll calibrate your magnetometer. So we have new offsets for our compass, so it basically calibrates it. We'll hit OK. Then we'll go to the next step. I think we have the PX4 um, battery monitor. What sensor are we using? We're not really using one. What's the size of our battery uh, in milliamp hours? Well, mine is 3000 milliamp hours. Yours might be different. We'll put that here and then click next. We don't have sonar, so we don't have to worry about this. We'll just say none. 
All right, now we need to calibrate our um, RC endpoints of our receiver, our transceiver. We'll hit continue. And really you should take off all your props because we're going to be um, messing with the RC receiver. We wouldn't want the props to start spinning on us. So we should take all these off and let's grab our RC uh, transmitter. We'll turn it on now. We need to make sure all of our switches are um, placed up in the up position or this particular receiver or transmitter won't turn on. And now let's go ahead and click the calibrate radio. All right, we'll hit OK, hit OK. All right, let's start with the throttle. Now we're gonna put, we're gonna tell our program the lowest point of our throttle. This is channel three, up and down, and then the highest point of our throttle. And you could see how the endpoints actually changed on the um, throttle bars of this radio calibration screen. So a way to calibrate this would just to be to go in all four corners of the left stick. So we're calibrating all the endpoints for channels three and four. And then once you feel good about that calibration, we'll do the same on the right stick. We'll just go in all four corners of this right stick. Okay, and then we have, so those are four channels we just calibrated. We have two more channels to calibrate since this is a six channel transmitter. So you might not know which one, which one of these knobs or switches is currently set up as channels five and six. So we'll just kind of um, play around with these knobs and see if that changes any of the signals in Mission Planner. And let's see, this knob looks to be channel five. Okay, perfect. So we'll just go all the way down on this potentiometer and then all the way up. So now we know the endpoints here. And now we need to find channel six. Let's see, where is, okay, this is channel six. It's just a switch, it's either high or low. That's an easy calibration. All right, and none of these other um, switches or knobs are um, active because those are our six channels. So then we are done with the radio calibration. So we'll click here, click when done. Now we're good. Now it's saving those endpoints. Remember normal PWM will go from a thousand to 2000, but you might have different uh, endpoints, different variations of endpoints on different transmitters. Some might have low point of 1004 and a high point of 1996. So you need to find those specific endpoints in order to have um, accurate flight control. Okay, now we're done with that. We'll go to the next step. Now we can set our flight modes. For now, let's just keep all these in stabilize and flight mode six. We'll hit return to launch. And we'll just hit save. We'll, we'll change this in the future. Okay, now it wants us to do an arming test. Now this you definitely want to make sure your props are off because arming will make the props start spinning. And we can't arm it right now. We'll figure out at a later time why we're not able to arm it. And then we won't enable geofencing. And then after that we're finished. Alright, so you have set up the vehicle 